Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Bonjour tout le monde. Niveau 2. Le livre Don't Change Intro. Interchange and through box. Le vocabulaire, c'est mon pour les débutants. Il faut que vous étudiez les mots et la traduction à la langue française. À level 2, 1. Words, 1. Words of exercise number 1. On était 11, 1. Les mots d'exercice numéro 1. A month, date. January, the first month of the year. February, the second month of the year. March, March, the third month of the year. April, the fourth month of the year. May, the fifth month of the year. June, the sixth month of the year. July, the seventh month of the year. August, the eighth month of the year. September, the ninth month of the year. October, October, the tenth month of the year. British October, October, British American, October, the tenth month of the year. November, the eleventh month of the year. December, the twelfth month of the year. Dates, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 20, British 20, American 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 30th, 31st, 30, T, soft D, 31st, birthday, the day you were born, birthday, the day you were born, two, du, les mots d'exercice numéro du, on était onze, exercice du, Exciting, amazing, celebrate, to have fun at a special occasion, celebration, fabulous, incredible, that's great. What are your plans? To order a cake, to ask for a cake. Embarrassing, shameful, making you feel shy. Order. Ask for food in a restaurant. To be, going to, main verb. Well. Have a party. T, soft D. Downtown. Seven. Words of exercise number seven. Les mots d'exercice numéro sept. Holidays in the U.S. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st, 
Valentine's Day, Love Day, February 14th, Independence Day, July 4th, Halloween, October 31st, Thanksgiving, 4th Thursday in November, Christmas, December 25th, December 25th, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, Special, Private, Boyfriend, Girlfriend, It sounds like fun, It seems like fun, It sounds like fun, It seems like fun, Have a good Valentine's Day. 9. Words of Exercise number 9. Unit 11. What are you going to do? Page 72, Exercise 1. Months and Dates. Part A. Listen and practice the months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November. December. Month of the year. In the year, there are 12 months. January is number one. February is number two. March, three. April is number four. May, number five. June is number six. July is number seven. August is the month number eight. September, number nine. October is number ten. Eleven. November and 12 is December. December is the month number 12. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Page 72, Exercise 1, Part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. Sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth. 29th, 30th, 31st, these are the dates, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 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 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 7 th 8 9 10 10 th 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 19 number 19 th 20 21st 22nd 23rd 24th 25th 26th 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 
31st like this first 30 plus first 30 is 30 number 30 th C class activity go around the room ask your classmates birthdays when is your birthday it's July 21st when is yours you ask your friend about the day he or she was born the day of birth birthday the day of birth exercise number two look at the picture what do you do what do you see young lady young man the young man is thinking about cooking they're talking about food cooking what is the girl doing she's cooking what's she cooking cake this is oven and all of this is a cooker a cooker oven listen and practice listen and repeat page 72 exercise 2 conversation birthday plans listen and practice are you gonna do anything exciting this weekend well I'm gonna celebrate my birthday oh happy birthday when is it exactly it's August 9th Sunday so what are your plans I'm gonna go to my friend Kayla's house she's gonna cook a special dinner for me nice is she going to bake a cake, too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Angie and Philip. Angie, are you going to do anything special, anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do? Will you do anything exciting, exciting, interesting, exciting, interesting this weekend? Weekend, the day when people don't work. A day when the students don't go to the school. The students don't go to the school. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to have a party. I'm going to have a birthday party. Oh, happy birthday. When is it? When is it exactly? What is the date? When is your birthday? It's August 9th, Sunday. The coming Sunday, the 9th of August. So, what are your plans? What are your plans? What are your plans? What are you gonna do? I'm going to go to my friend Kyle's house. I'm going to go to Kyle's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. She's going to make a special dinner. Nice. Nice. Good. Is she going to bake a cake too? Is she going to make a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I am not sure. I am not sure, maybe. So first question, is Philip gonna do anything exciting this weekend? Yes, he's going to celebrate his birthday. When is Philip's birthday? It's August 9th, Sunday. What are his plans? What are Philip's plans? He's going to go to his friend Kyla's house because she's going to cook a special dinner for him. Is Kyla going to bake a cake too? He's not sure. 
maybe, maybe, he's not sure. Philip is not sure. Page 73, exercise 3, grammar focus. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. She's going to cook a special dinner. No, she's not. She's going to order takeout. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. They're going to stop by after dinner. No, they're not. They're going to be away all weekend. The future with be going to. Be going to Ghana. Question? Answer. Question. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Going to Ghana. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kyla going to cook dinner for you? Going to Ghana. Is Kyla, is she going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. She going to cook a special dinner. No, she's not. She gonna order takeout. Takeout means she's not going to cook food at home. She's going to order meal from restaurants. She's going to order a meal from a restaurant. Are your friends gonna be there? Yes, they are. They gonna stop by after dinner. Stop by after dinner? After they finish the dinner, after eating dinner, they are going to visit me. Are your friends going to be there? No, they're not. They're going to be away all weekend. The future will be going to. Are, are you, are we, are they going to plus infinitive? To make a question. Are you, are we, are they going to infinitive? Main verb. Answer yes or no. Example. Are you going to watch TV? Yes, I am. Are Ahmed and Ibrahim going to do their homework? Yes, they are. Is Kyla, is she, is he, is she, is it going to infinitive? Is Kyla gonna cook dinner? Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. No, they're not. To make a sentence with going to, subject, I, she, they, I, he, she, it, we, you, they, this is the subject, am, I am, is, he, she, it, they, we, you, are, going to, infinitive, infinitive main verb. Going to. We use going to or gonna to express the future. Subject, am is are, going to, going to plus main verb. 
going to plus main verb. I'm going to travel all over the world. He's going to marry tomorrow. We're going to write a book next month. They're going to open school soon. My verb am is are going to plus main verb. Main verb infinitive like travel, marry, write, open. Words tomorrow, next month, soon. Time, time expressions or key words soon, tomorrow, in the future, next month, on Friday, next weekend. All of these words express the future. Okay, for the future questions, specifically the yes and no questions, remember, in the affirmation, we use subject, be, going to, and the verb. Now, in the affirmation, be is the auxiliary. It is not the principal verb. The principal verb is here. So remember, in the question, we use the auxiliary first. For example, be first, because it is the auxiliary then the subject, then going to, then the verb. So remember, in the question, be, subject, going to, and then the verb. So for example, the question, am, am I going to play soccer next week? And remember, in the short answers, we say yes or no. So, for example, am I going to play soccer next week? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Another example of a question, is he going to play soccer next week? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't, for the short answer. Is she going to play soccer next week? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Very good. For example, are they going to play soccer next week? Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Are you going to play soccer next week? A normal answer is, yes, I am, or no, I am not. Very good. Okay, now it's time to practice. A. What are these people gonna do this weekend? Write sentences, then compare with a partner. Picture one. They're going to go dancing. They're going to go dancing. Picture two, he's going to read, he gonna read. Three, he's going to swim, he gonna swim. Four, she gonna walk. Five, they gonna play tennis, they gonna play tennis. Six, she gonna buy, she gonna buy. Seven, they gonna watch a movie, they gonna watch a movie at the cinema. They gonna go to the movies, go to the movies, go to the cinema. He gonna call someone, he gonna call someone. B. Pair work. Is your partner, is your friend, 
gonna do the, the things in part A this weekend? Is your friend gonna do the things in part A this weekend? Ask and answer questions. Are you gonna go dancing this weekend? Your friend answer, yes I am, no I'm not. So in this exercise, you're going to ask your friend about these action, about these pictures. Number one. Are you going to dance this weekend? Yes, I am. Are you going to study English this weekend? No, I'm not. Are you going to swim? Are you going to swim in the pool? No, I'm not. Are you going to do exercises? Are you going to hike? Are you going to walk? Sure. Are you going to play tennis? Yes, I am. Are you going to buy something? Yes, I am. Are you going to go to the movies? Are you going to watch a movie in the cinema? Yes, I am. Are you going to call somebody tonight? Sure. Yes, I am. For pronunciation, production of going to. In speaking, going to Ghana. Going to Ghana. Page 7. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. For pronunciation, reduction of going to. Reduction, shortage, abbreviation. Abbreviation of going to. In speaking, going to Ghana. Ghana. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to next cafe. Per work. Ask your partner, ask your friend about his or her evening plans. Try to reduce going to. Ask your friend about his plans of this evening. Use gonna. Are you gonna watch TV? Yes, I am. Are you gonna play football? No, I'm not. Are you gonna do the homework? Yes, I am. Are you gonna chat? No, I'm not. Exercise number five, listening. Evening plans. You look at the picture here. There are five persons. So, what are they doing? A. It's 5.30 p.m. It's a half past five in the evening. What are these people's evening's plans? What are their plans? What are they gonna do? Write your guesses in the chart. Michelle is going to go to the gym. Guess think. What is Michelle gonna do? Michelle is going to go to the gym. Kevin Kevin is wearing purple purple shirt. He has a mobile. He's looking at time. Maybe he's talking to someone. So Kevin is going to meet a friend. He's going to meet a friend. Kevin gonna meet a friend. 
Meet a friend, mira, tisafdi. Kevin, gonna meet a friend. What about Robert? Robert is wearing a tie, has a briefcase, is wearing white shirt, brown pants, he has files, papers, he's wearing glasses, he's bold, he's middle-aged. So Robert, I think, he's going to go to work, or he's going to work, he's gonna work. Robert, gonna work. Jackie, Jackie, She has a lot of things. She's is having groceries. Groceries. So she gonna cook. She gonna cook. Jackie gonna cook. She's going to cook. B. Listen to the interview. 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 In American will say interview and interview. What are the people really gonna do? Complete the chart. What are they going to do? Listen and repeat. What are they really gonna do? Evening plans. Part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. <laughs> I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. The interviewer is from KXQ. KXQ News Radio and he asked them different questions what are they gonna do tonight what they are really gonna do Michelle Michelle is going to meet her friend Michelle is going to meet a friend she gonna meet a friend they are going to run together they're going to run. They're gonna run. Michelle and her friend. Kevin? Kevin is going to play video games. Kevin gonna play video games. Rupert? Rupert gonna work at home. Robert gonna work at home. Jackie For Jackie Jackie gonna bake a cake Jackie gonna bake a cake Again the answers Michelle gonna meet a friend she gonna meet a friend Kevin he gonna play video games Robert he gonna work at home Jackie she gonna bake a cake.
snapshot. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Holidays in the United States. Look at the back shoe. Where do you see some people? They're singing, dancing. They're having fun. This is New Year's Day. This is on January the 1st. Let's listen. Page 74, exercise 7. Snapshot. Holidays in the United States. Listen and practice. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, the fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Holiday in the United States. New Year's Day, this is January the 1st. People sing, dance, they have fun. Valentine's Day, this is Day of Love on February the 14th. People give chocolates and flowers to the people they love. Independence Day, July the 4th, the 4th of July. They celebrate it by fireworks. Halloween is on October 31st. The kids, the children, take candies from their neighbors. Thanksgiving, it's on the fourth Thursday in November. The Americans celebrate the harvest. They eat a meal and a large turkey. Turkey is a bird. Bird. They cook a large turkey. A big bird. Christmas. This is on December 25th. The children get a lot of gifts, a lot of presents. Do you celebrate any of these holidays? Yes. We celebrate New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, and the Christmas in Egypt. What are some holidays in your country? In Egypt, we have different holidays. We have the breakfast feast, Eid al-Fitr, or Fitr feast. We have Adha feast, or the sacrifice feast. The sacrifice feast, Adha feast. We have Labor's Day and Mother's Day. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Adha feast, the sacrifice feast. It's a very long holiday. It's a holiday for one week. Sometimes we stay for one week. That's all. Homework. One. Keep the words by heart. Number two. Listen and repeat. Study the lecture and the video. Number three. Answer three pages of the workbook. Unit 11. Interchange Enter. Interchange Enter. Fourth edition. Unit 11. Wish you all good luck. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.